Hello and welcome to Viscera Clean Up Detail. I have had to record this three times and excuse the extremely high gr gamma, but it's hard to see what we're doing. Okay, so my name is Demon Britt, I am 35 years old, I am a hygiene technician. The company feels that the recent events uh, on the purge of the station must not reflect badly on its reputation. It is required that each and every corner of the facility is cleaned by Friday. No delays. Your conduct in this matter will reflect on your record and decide your continued employment. We expect each and every employee to conduct themselves in a manner pre pre-fitting to the company's honour. Yes, and this is a game where all you do is mop up blood and pick up giblets. From a spaceship I can assume has only been invaded by the Glue Glux clan. I say the Glue Glux clan because I was recording Postal 2 a second ago, so I kinda got that stuck in my head. Anyway, you use the mouse scroll or one or two to switch to your hands or, and brush. You left click to do stuff, you left click to pick up and right click to drop. And to clean your brush when it gets too muddy because this happens. You do this. You can do this to whack things around and move them, but that doesn't really... I don't even know what this is for. Is this for, like, when aliens attack? It must be. I can understand if the people who made this, and they... I forgot who made it, but they are amazing at this. Even though it was made on the Unreal development kit. Great job. Yeah, see, that happens. I tried picking it up and with my hands, with my brush. Yeah, this game can lead to a, quite a few rage moments if you're not careful. Anyway, let's be moving on. For some odd reason, the bucket seems to lose all its physics when it's in your hand, and my brush is spazzing. God damn it, looks like a Japanese porno. Yeah, for the for this video, I think I'll clean up the uh, obvious blood split blood meshes and just leave it at that. And also for the people who watch this and actually enjoy it and want to recommend games for me to play, I was considering playing System Shock 2, but I'm playing it and I don't know what to do. It's getting co confusing as I play it, like. <coughs> I know I should be talking about the game, but really all this game is mopping up blood. So what are you gonna do? I mean, the only person I saw who did a video on this game was basically taking the mick out of the last video we saw made. But anyway, in that game, in System Shock 2, I just can't see- Oh, for fuck's sake! I should really turn the sound down in this game. Come here, Bucket. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, the anyway, <clears throat> in System Shock 2 you got all these mechanics like researching and tech and sci and weapons and all that. I just don't know what half of it does, really. Well, I do know what it does. I did play the tutorial levels. God, I'm not an idiot. But the thing is, I just don't grasp it. Why do you need Psy? You've got guns. And hacking and all that, I, can, I, I know you need that. And it also seems to prove the point that it was kind of the granddaddy to Bioshock. I mean, half the game is ported to it. Not ported, I mean copied. I mean, literally, look at the comparison between System uh, System Shock 2 and Bioshock. The plasmids are uh, those. Uh, is the Psy. Uh, that seems to be all the blood in this area. Plasmid size, weapons are normal, the wrench is another wrench. The enemies are not hybrids, but they're like hybrids because of the genetic modifications that they undertook in the rapture. 
But anyway, that's not the game we're playing. We are playing Viscera Clean Up Detail, an amazing janitor in space simulator. Oh yeah, and also if you want to go to the extra mile and clean up this place to the fullest extent, there's these gibs you can Oh fuck I forgot that does that. You can put them in a bin. And these bins aren't bottomless. But they do good enough. But I shall not be focusing on that in this episode because it takes far too long. Oh, I needed an extra bucket. Fuck. You can find oh yeah, that happens. Sometimes you just end up with a giblet. You can't crouch either. You can click it on both sides and it'll come out the same way for some reason. Anyway. Yeah, you can find the occasional item laid out for you, which is good. There is a paid version of this, but I don't know what you do in it compared to this, which is the free da alpha download. The 1.1 alpha, do alpha download, to be exact. So if anyone wants to feel free and tell me what it, what the differences are, uh, post in the comments. There we go. Thought I wasn't going to be able to get that. Oh. Ah. Let me just get that. Yeah, the ones on those ceilings that are a bit higher are near impossible to get unless you stack boxes. Which I shall not do because I am too lazy. Yeah. And it also appears that this place was invaded by mutant chickens. Leaving our giblets around like we used to leave theirs. Just rip them out and Splatter them everywhere. That could be a pretty good horror movie. Night of the Invading Chickens. <coughs> Curse my cold. Night of the Invading Chickens. Someone made that into a movie. It's got promise. You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken was trying to make a new recipe and then they ended up breeding mutant chickens. It makes perfect sense. And it looks as if someone got splattered behind that wall there, so I wonder if... Ah! That's something I didn't see before. I don't know if there's an achievement or anything you get from actually completing this game 100%. But I've just found out that you can tear off those wall panels, so that is actually pretty interesting. And... You can also open this chamber. I've tried putting things in it before, like, look at it now. It just won't do anything. So we'll just leave it closed. We'll just leave that closed for now, because it's not really going to do anything. And that appears to be every speck of blood on the floor level picked up. Uh, let's just see if there's any hidden achievement, not achievements, hidden easter eggs that I haven't really spotted yet. Uh, like that. Whoa. Strange. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a wander around here, see if there's anything left. Doesn't appear. Fuck! Uh, it's the same panel thing again. Ooh. See, there's much more to this game than meets the eye in my... from what I can say. Or from what I've played. Much more than meets the eye. 
viscera, clean up the detail. Okay, so that's about this video done with. Leave a like, comment, put, um, leave a like, favorite, post in the comment section if you want to see me do more of this or tell me what to do next, cause I don't know. Nah, I can do whatever. So anyway, I shall see you guys in the next episode. I'll just go knock over another bucket and rage about it. Cause I'm that old. God damn it!